What is up people? Cheap bastard talking to ya. Today I decided to make a video about LGA 1150 socket Pentiums again because in my previous video about Pentium G3240 a lot of you guys in the comments said that you are getting much better frame rates. So I built a PC with Pentium G3250, not G3240 because I don't have it anymore. RX 580 4GB and 8GB of RAM, but this time instead of using one single 8GB stick, I used two 4GB sticks to have that dual channel memory. In comparison, I will also show benchmark results from my previous video. So, to kick things off we have Overwatch. Using single channel memory, the game was only playable on 720p low and I got an average of 54.8, a minimum of 26.7 and the maximum of 67.9 FPS. But with dual channel memory I was playing on 1080p ultra and got an average of 54.6, a minimum of 15.9 and the maximum of 76.1. FPS. Damn, that's a nice performance increase. My hopes and dreams of playing Need for Speed Payback were crushed because on both G3240 and G3250 it couldn't start. Next up we have Fortnite. Are you a real epic gamer if you can't play on epic settings? Absolutely not. And you know what? After testing Fortnite with dual channel memory, I can say that you really don't need a powerful CPU to run it. On epic settings using that sweet dual channel memory I got an average of 68.9, a minimum of 33.1 and the maximum of 95.2 FPS. Meanwhile on the single channel RAM setup we couldn't run epic settings at all. On almost worst settings I got an average of 51.3, a minimum of 4.7 and the maximum of 60 FPS. On CSGO we have a similar story. With single channel RAM I played on medium settings and got an average of 60 FPS, a minimum of 7.9 and a maximum of 151.7 FPS. But with dual channel memory I could play on very high settings and still get an average of 71.8, a minimum of 34.3 and a maximum of 111.6 FPS. Moving on to the last game of today we have Grand Theft Auto 5. As you may know it is really CPU dependent game and on 1080p ultra settings things got weird. The Voral the textures couldn't load when I was driving so instead of driving I started flying with my car. You're a wizard. I'm a what? A wizard. So yeah, just another casual day. Anyways, on 1080p ultra settings I got an average of 36.9 FPS and when I moved to 1080p low, all the problems disappeared and the gameplay was... Nice. In conclusion, even though we got decent frame rates, the Pentium was still a huge bottleneck for RX 580. If you have a 2 core Pentium CPU, it can still play games, but you must use dual channel RAM, otherwise you could not play anything. Sorry for the lack of memes today in this video, but if you could subscribe to my awesome channel, I promise, you will get some sweet memes in my future content. Stay cheap my dudes, cheap bastard out.